When researchers study how the earth was formed, they often dig up evidence from the ground. But when astronomers study the stars, they go on a different kind of dig. Christopher Cruz has more in this report from VOA's Suzanne Presto. Scientists used the American Space Agency's Hubble Space Telescope to go as far back in time as possible. And with it, they found seven formerly unknown galaxies, or huge groups of stars, that formed more than 13 billion years ago. John Grunsfeld is with the Space Agency's Science Mission Directorate. When he looks at some of Hubble's newest images, he sees bright specks of light and spinning colors, reds, yellow, and violets. These are baby pictures of the universe. You know, it's back to the fundamental origin story. We're always wondering, you know, where did we come from and where are we going? And Hubble is providing answers to both those questions. A generally accepted theory says the universe began nearly 14 billion years ago with what scientists call the Big Bang. About 400,000 years later, the element hydrogen developed. Richard Ellis is an astrophysicist with the California Institute of Technology. He led the team that discovered the seven oldest ever seen galaxies. His team used Hubble to take the first official census of galaxies born during what scientists have called cosmic dawn. Mr. Ellis says his team studied part of the sky for more than 100 hours during a six-week period in August and September. The team was looking for galaxies that formed between 350 million and 600 million years after the Big Bang. The astronomers completed the first census in cosmic history and found a galaxy that could be the oldest ever observed. The team says the cosmic dawn probably was not a very exciting event. Instead, it was most likely a slow process. John Grunsfeld describes the cosmic dawn as the period when the universe emerged from the Dark Ages. He admits older galaxies exist, but they are too far from the Hubble telescope. I'm Christopher Cruz.